Hey guys, welcome back to Pension Pennies with Priscilla. Oh my goodness, I'm finally up. And of course, I have not been out to do any coupon shopping yet this morning. But I was looking through my comments and I see that some people had questions regarding these coupons. And I apologize to you guys for not being able to answer your questions yesterday because I just had a very hectic day. Um, so, just wanted to come on and go over... No, that's not mine, Spoozie. I just wanted to come in and go over these coupons um, because I've had questions about them and the wording on the coupons which conflict with uh, the new CVS coupon policy. These are the coupons that came out of the Reinventing Beauty magazine that um, I had scenarios for and um, the wording, the wording <laughs> is uh, very specific and so I had to come on and do this video after I saw the comments I read the coupons very carefully down at the bottom <laughs> where we sometimes don't always read all the way through there is a sentence at the bottom of the coupon which we should have read so here we go so here's the first one for the Colgate total right here and of course it says the standard stuff about um, this is not accepted if it's printed from unauthor some unauthorized internet postings, copies, or facsimiles. And basically, for these specific coupons from the Reinventing Beauty magazine, they are not anywhere on the internet. So if you see something about these on the internet where you can print them off, they're not valid, so don't even use them. They have to be the originals that come out of the Reinventing Beauty magazine. So that's what they're saying here. And they're also saying down here. Last one, right here where my hand is. Coupon cannot be combined with any other CVS coupons. Yeah. So, as you can see, these coupons, and they all say the same thing. All of these from the Reinventing Beauty magazine says that we cannot use them with any other CVS coupons. So when we do the Sensodyne deal and we combine these two, we weren't supposed to. When we did the uh, Aquafresh deal, where we... Um, no, the Aquafresh deal I think was okay because we didn't have another CVS coupon for that. We had a manufacturer coupon. But for this Sensodyne deal, the one that we were supposed to do today, where we, are gonna, we were going to combine these two, According to the wording on this coupon, we're not able to do that because it says cannot be combined with any other CVS coupon, including those that came out the same magazine. So, yeah, so I wanted to come on and just um, go over that with you guys. The wording is exactly the same on each coupon that came out of this Reinventing Beauty magazine. It says they cannot be combined with any other CVS coupon. So I wanted to just come on and answer that for you guys. That I will, Booby. Hold on one second. So um, not only that, but that would mean that none of these coupons can be combined with those coupons that CVS sent us for like the $4 off of $20, the $5 off of $30, or any other CVS coupon. None. Nada. So for those of you who had planned on using your $4 off $20 coupons, um, using any of these coupons in your transaction that wouldn't be right either so if you're going to say it can't be combined with any other CVS coupon that includes any CVS coupon according to this so even though this particular coupon right here five dollar off when you purchase ten dollars of Glasgow Smith Klein oral care products even though CVS's new coupon policy allows us to stack these, it conflicts with the wording on the coupon. So yeah, that's that's a sticky situation right there. Very sticky situation. It throws my transactions totally out the door. And I'm sure a lot of other people, same thing, because even if you hadn't planned on doing this particular deal here today, which would be an awesome deal, even if you use one of these coupons in your other transactions and you use your $4 off 20 coupon or your $5 off 30 coupon by CVS, you would not be able to do it according to the wording on these coupons. So, yeah. Um, 
I know people are going to ask me, well, CVS's new coupon policy says that we can stack these coupons. Yes, that's my whole point. It conflicts with the new CVS coupon policy. And people are going to ask me, well, which one is the correct one? I'm not going to make that call for you. You can look at it and say the coupon words are specific and it says you can't do it. And then you can say, well, these coupons were printed way before CVS um, redid their coupon policy. So which one would be the correct one? I'm not going to be able to tell you which one is the correct one. Because different people are going to look at this differently. Some people are going to say, you have to go by the wording on the coupon. And then some people are probably going to say, well, CVS's new coupon policy overrides what's on the coupon. I don't know if it does. I can't answer that question. All I can tell you is to do your due, dil due, dil <laughs> do your due diligence and call corporate office. Call the corporate office, explain to them the situation that the wording on their coupons from this Reinventing Beauty magazine conflicts with the new CVS coupon policy. And then you want to find out from them which one is correct. Okay, that's all I can tell you. I don't want to be put in a position where I say yes or no. Because a lot of people are going to see it differently. I don't want people to constantly, well, Priscilla, you're saying it wrong. You're encouraging um, the misuse of coupons. No, I'm not. I'm pretty sure I've seen no one else do a video that's um, noted this at the bottom of these coupons. Not even when they first came out, when we did... Um, when we did the Aquafresh deal um, with this coupon, when we did the Biotin deal with this coupon, and we used our um, $4 off 20 coupon or $5 off 30 coupon, I never saw anyone bring this up. So obviously, I'm not the only one that didn't notice that at the bottom of this coupon. So, you know, there's always going to be people who are very diligent in reading the coupons all the way down to the last sentence. Yes, there are. So, um, for those of you who caught that, thank you very much. I did not. And um, I thank you very much for bringing it to my attention. So, that's what I'm doing this video because I want you guys to um, make sure you're doing the um, transactions correctly. Even when I make a mistake, even when I give you the wrong information, call me out on it. Say, wait a minute, Priscilla, that coupon says this, this, and that. I, I welcome that because a lot of times I don't read 100% words on the coupon. People are like, well, you're supposed to read the coupons. Yes, you are. And like I said, weeks ago when we used this coupon on the Aquafresh and the Biotin, and I know num numerous people who used this along with their other CVS um, $4 off 20 coupons and things like that, plenty of people use this with that, Okay. So, obviously, I wasn't the only person who didn't catch that. And even back then, no one brought that up. Nobody brought that up in the videos that I saw. All right? So, I'm telling you what the wording says, and I'm telling you to call corporate to get the answer. Because with this particular coupon itself, it's conflicting with the new CVS coupon policy. So, I don't have the answer for you. Call corporate and see what they say. So that's my video, you guys. I'll be back later with any additional things I come across, including any deals that worked and didn't work. And um, I got to get out there into the stores. See you guys later. Bye.